Hey everyone, welcome to Nims Toots, the tutorial show where we teach you how to build something awesome in Minecraft. My name is Nims and I run them there here tutorials and today we're going to be looking at an AFK fish farm. This thing is tiny, allowing you to slot it into any base and lets you catch anything from fish to name tags to even enchanted books. We're just going to jump straight into building this thing. In step one, we're going to start out by placing a double chest down to our left. Then we need to punch out a block, place a dropper facing upward, then the dropper facing forward, punch out another block, place a hopper. Then I need to add, let's go ahead and add the carpet on top of that hopper. Then let's add a hopper facing into the side of that first one, and then a second double chest. Cool, then we need to place two hoppers that feed into this left chest with a stone pressure plate on that middle hopper. Then we need to place a cobblestone wall. Let's go ahead and place some blocks around it. Those need to be solid blocks. Destroy the blocks below. Then we need to place three blocks in such a fashion. Destroy the bottom black back block. Then place an iron trap door. Lastly, we need to add two glass blocks on both of our double chests. And that is it for step one. In step two, we'll be adding the redstone that controls the timing of the fish farm. To do that, we're gonna come to the second glass block and place a row of three solid blocks and a solid block immediately on top of the block that's holding our trap door. Then place some tripwire hooks with a piece of string in the middle, cool. Now we're gonna begin on the actual redstone. Start out with a torch. This will be from the right side if your perspective is on the front. Solid block just for aesthetics. Redstone dust, solid block. Repeater set to three ticks into a solid block with a piece of redstone on top. More redstone, solid block, redstone, solid block, redstone, redstone, solid block, repeater. Then we need three pieces of redstone going across the top like this. That should start a looping process. If yours is doing exactly what this is doing, you've done well. To shut this off, we're going to put a lever on the front and trip that lever so we can build in silence. Then we're going to come around to the back where that repeater is set on three ticks and place a piece of redstone below that solid block. Then another repeater set to a three tick delay into a solid block with a piece of redstone here. Now let's go ahead and turn this back on and test it again. It should double trigger now. Just like that, perfect. If yours is doing that, you're well on your way to having a fish farm. Next, we're gonna punch out some blocks here just so we can see what we're doing. So I punched out five and then four. Then I'm gonna add a redstone repeater here into a solid block into a piece of redstone dust, into another solid block. So now every time that we see or hear the trap door double trigger, we should also hear these droppers uh, tick as well. Perfect, awesome, and that's it for step two. In step three, we'll be finishing out the design, also finishing some of the aesthetics. I like to start out with placing a couple of stairs to give it a nice rounded finish. Place some item frames here. Fish and whatever is caught goes on the left, whereas your fishing pole supply goes on the right. Then we need to step inside, add our spruce door, and then a bucket of water immediately on top of that cobblestone wall. And that's it. That is the farm complete. I'm now in my Let's Play world where we'll cover how to use the AFK features of this farm. The first thing you want to do is stock the farm with fishing poles. This is crazy easy. Just drop as many fishing poles as you want into that rightmost chest. Next, you want to fill your entire inventory except for one slot with blocks. I usually carry around a bunch of torches. You probably do too, and they're great for the job. Next, you want to step into the farm, making sure to close the door behind yourself and turn it on. A fishing pole will quickly be thrown into your inventory, and then you can step up, making sure that your chest is touching this dropper. Aim at the center of the iron trap door, then you want to put a weight on your right mouse click, or maybe even rebind your right mouse click to something on your keyboard that's easier to set a weight to, and AFK. That's it. That's all you have to do. The farm will do everything from there. Lastly, we're going to do a fast forward montage while we cover some final points that affect all fish farms. One, this farm will work if built completely underground, but the best rates will come if the water is directly exposed to the sky. Two, for even better rates, place the farm in a biome where it can rain. Rain hitting the bobber increases rates by another 20%. Three, place the farm outside of squid Y spawning ranges to prevent squid from popping up in your water, thus breaking your farm. And four, 
all tripwire fish farms have a chance to fail if the bobber isn't pulled down hard enough by the fish. This is normal. Fish will continue to hit your bobber every 15 to 45 seconds, even if you do not reel in the line. So if you miss one fish, another will be along shortly. And that's the end of the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below what you think of this fishing farm and leave a comment for what tutorial you'd like to see me do next. Thanks for watching Nims Toots, everyone. And hopefully it didn't stink.